Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Knitting for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this super easy baby bonnet for a baby between six and nine months old. It's very easy to make. You can also make it smaller for a baby between zero and three months and bigger uh, for a baby between 12 and 18 months. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave you information on how you can make it smaller or bigger. Okay, so I hope you like it and without further say, let's get started and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using these four millimeter knitting needles and today I'm using this light number three cotton yarn. Um, I'm going to make this baby bonnet using Lion Brand Comfy Cotton Yarn. It's a light number three yarn. I'll leave a link down here in the information box for you to see the yarn that I'm using. Now, I've already cast on my stitches. Like I said, I have 66 stitches here. Now, you can use any method to cast on your stitches. I already have a tutorial on how to do it using a crochet hook, so I'll leave a link down here in the information box as well. Okay, so to begin, in this first row, what we're going to do is we're going to knit to purl to, knit to purl to, all the way to the end. So here to begin, we're going to knit the first two stitches. Now, this first row, is a little hard but with patience uh, we'll get through it so the first stitch is knit the second stitch is going to be knit as well now the third and the fourth stitch we're going to purl and then the next two we're going to knit like this. Then the next two, purl. This is all I'm going to do for this first row. Knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two. Okay, so continue like this for this first row. I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. I still have two more stitches, so these last two here were purl. Now I need to, I need to knit these last two. Okay, and this is how I finished the first row. Now for the second row, we're going to turn, and here we're going to do the exact same thing. So my last two stitches in the first row here were two knits. Now in this row, we need to purl. So bring the yarn in front, purl the first stitch, purl the second stitch, and knit the next two. Curl the next two, and so on. This is how we're going to continue with the second row. Knit two, purl two. Okay, so continue like this for this second row. I'll meet you at the end of the second row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the second row. My last two stitches here were two knits, so I need to purl these last two stitches. Okay, and this is how I finished the second row. Now we're going to do two more rows, so turn your, like this, and here we're going to do, in this row we're going to knit now, because my last two here at the end were two purls, so now here at the beginning I need to knit these two stitches. One, two, and then two purls and then two knits. Okay, so continue like this for this third row. I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished the third row. Now we're going to turn here. The last two stitches here were two knits, so now here in this row, we're going to purl two at the beginning of the fourth row. So purl two. and then knit two. Purl two, knit two. Continue like this to the end of this row. I'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the fourth row. My last two stitches here at the end were two purls. So now we're going to turn again. And here in this last row, row five, we're going to knit two. and then purl two. 
knit two, then purl two. This is all we're going to do for this fifth row, so continue like this. I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fifth row. Now we're going to turn. In this row, what we're going to do is we're going to knit each one of these stitches. So beginning here, this first one, we're going to knit the first stitch, then knit the next stitch, knit the next stitch, knit the next stitch. Now, if you notice that these two stitches that follow are the purl stitches, so rather than going through the back loop, go through the front loop and knit the stitch like this. And then we have the two knit stitches you're going to knit. So in this row, this is all we're going to do. We're going to knit each one of these stitches. Continue like this for this first row. I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row where we knit each one of the stitches. Now we're going to turn here, and here we're going to do the same thing. Now, the first stitch we're going to knit through the back loop, and then knit each one of these stitches through the front loop, see like this. They're all lined up in the same direction. Okay, this is all we're going to do for this second row. We're going to knit each one of these stitches. Continue like this, and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the second row. Now we're going to turn, and from here on, this is all we're going to do. We're just going to knit each one of these stitches, and the first one I like to knit through the back loop like this, and then the rest through the front loop like this. We're going to knit every single stitch for every single row from here on. Now I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do, but if you notice there's a little bump here, see, that tells me that this is um, two rows here. So every time you see the little bump it means that that would be two rows there. So we would count the little bumps until um, we come to the number of rows that I'm going to do. So continue like this, just repeating the same row, um, knitting every single stitch all the way to the end, turn and then knit every single stitch all the way to the end. So I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making 30 rows, so in total I have Let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30 rows, and it measures. Let's see. This is about uh, almost 11 centimeters, which is almost, let's see, almost four and a half inches. Not quite there, but almost. Okay, so now here, what we're going to do is I've put two stitch markers. Whatever number of stitches that you have here, you're going to divide that by three. I happen to have 66, which is divisible by three, so I have 22 on this side, 22 for the center, and 22 stitches for the other side. So here in this row, we're going to begin to reduce um, the sides, the center, we're always going to keep the 22 stitches, and um, this side also as well. So we're going to begin reducing and we're going to start counting rows. So here, to begin, here in this first row, we're going to knit 22. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Now I'm going to pass the stitch marker to the needle here on the side, and here I'm going to knit again 22. 
we're going to do our first reduction after we make these 22 um, stitches here. So we're going to knit 22 again. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I'm actually only going to knit 21. Here's why. This last stitch for the center with the first stitch for one of the sides, we're going to do the following. We're going to skip this stitch like this. So I have 22, remove the stitch marker, knit the next stitch, and the stitch that we slipped, pass it over the stitch that I just knit like this. Now I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21 stitches on this needle. Now we're going to turn like this. Let me get my yarn. Now I'm not going to put the stitch marker again because it's going to be easier here. Now with the yarn in the front, slip the first stitch and now here we're going to knit 20. So the yarn is in the back, so now we're going to knit 20. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, I have knit 20 stitches and this stitch with the first stitch here on this side. Now we're going to, I'm going to, for the purpose of removing this, I'm going to remove the stitch marker and I'm going to put this back. So I have 20 stitches plus the one that we slipped here at the beginning. We have, we should have 21. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. But we only knit 20 of those stitches. This one here we slipped. Now here we're going to purl two together. See, like this. So now I should always have 22 stitches here in the center. And now in this needle, I'm going to have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21. Now we're going to turn. This here was row two, so we're going to turn for row three. For row three with the yarn in the back, we're going to slip the first stitch. So here's the first stitch out of the 22 that we're going to have, but we're only going to knit 20. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 
18, 19, 20. Now we're going to slip this next stitch, knit the next stitch, pass the stitch that we slipped over the stitch that we just knitted, like this. Okay, and now I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 stitches on this needle we're going to turn. Now this is going to be your fourth row. Remember we slip the first stitch with the yarn in front, slip the first, put the yarn behind, and knit 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now here we're going to purl two together. So bring the yarn in front, put your needle behind and purl these two together. And now I have in this needle 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Turn. So for the fifth row here, we're going to do this until we have one stitch here left on this needle and one stitch here on this needle. In the center, we're always going to have 22 stitches. Okay, so now here for the fifth row, with the yarn behind, slip the first stitch and knit 20. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, now we're going to slip this next stitch, knit the next, past this stitch that we slipped over the stitch that I just knitted. And now I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19 stitches on this needle. Turn for row 6. And this is all you're going to continue doing. So let me show you again. The first stitch we slip without doing anything, put the yarn behind, and knit 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now this, these next two we're going to purl together. So bring the yarn in front, purl two together like this. And this is how we finish the sixth row. Now, we should have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19 stitches on this needle, just like we did here on this side. So we're, so far we're good. Now turn. So now here for row seven, same thing. This is what you're going to repeat, like I said, until we have one or two stitches here left. Again, with the yarn behind, slip the first stitch, 
knit 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, slip the next stitch, knit the next. Now pass the stitch that we slipped over the stitch that we just knitted. And now here we should have 18, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 stitches, turn. So for your eighth row, same thing. With the yarn in front, slip the first stitch, put your yarn behind, and we're going to knit 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now these next two we're going to purl together. So bring the yarn in front and purl two together. And this is how we finish the eighth row. Now turn. Here I forgot to count how many stitches. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Now this is how you're going to continue for the rest until we have about maybe two or three stitches here left. Um, I may need to do um, a reduction right here in the center, but I'll show you that part um, after we finish this here. So continue like this. Remember, you're going to knit 20 here and then slip this stitch knit the next and then pass the stitch over the stitch that you just knitted and then turn again and repeat. I'll meet you back once we have a couple of stitches left in our knitting needles to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. I have one stitch on this knitting needle and I have one stitch here and then the 22 stitches here in the very center. So here, what we're going to do is I'm going to slip this stitch and I'm going to knit these two together. I'm going to do this at the beginning and here at the end. This is so that this part here reduces a little. Um, it's not really necessary, but if you want to um, do it, go ahead and do it here. Otherwise, just knit. So now here I'm going to knit these stitches until I come to um, th these last two here for the center part. So let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Now these next two you're going to knit together like this. And now we're going to slip this next stitch, knit the last stitch, pass the stitch that we slipped over this last stitch that we just knitted. And now this part here is done. So now we're just going to turn. Now I'm going to slip this stitch here, put the yarn behind, and I'm going to knit until I come here to this other end. So that's one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and then these last two I'm going to purl together. And there you have it. We're done. Now, in this center part, I should have, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 stitches. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to cast off these stitches here. So to do that, we're going to slip the first stitch, knit the next, pass the stitch that we slipped over the stitch that we knit. Now knit one more, pass the stitch over the stitch that we just knitted, and we're casting off our stitches here again. Knit the next, pass the stitch over the stitch that we just knit, and this is all I'm going to do all the way to the very end. And this is my last stitch, so knit and then pass this stitch over. Okay, and there it is. Now we're going to cut our yarn. Leave a small tail. Now we're going to pass this yarn through this last stitch here and this part here is done and that's what it looks like so now what we're going to do is we're going to go along the side on the right side and we're going to um, pick up some stitches here so that we can uh, finish this part here uh, with the same stitch like I have here so I'll come back and show you that part next Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up stitches along the bottom here, but first we're going to have to choose which side is going to be your right side. So I like this other side here where you can't see the um, stitches along the very edge. So I'm going to turn mine like this and I'm going to go to this side right here. Now here, I'm going to grab a crochet hook and insert it right into this very corner stitch right there and I'm going to grab just grab a loop like this, bring it through the front, and leave a little tail here so that we can hide this end. So just tie a knot right there. This is going to be easier uh, when we pick up the stitches here along um, the very edge. So here, I'm going to be inserting my hook between the bumps. See, the rows have the little bumps, so I'm just going to go in there and insert my hook, and then I'm just going to grab a loop like this. Now you can do this part with a crochet hook if it's easier. So we're going to go between the stitches. So that's two, three, see th these are the two little bumps, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Okay, I have 18 stitches for this side, so I'm going to make sure that when I do this other side, I do 18 as well. Okay, so now for the this back side. So here I'm just going to insert it into this very last stitch. It's going to be a little hard to pick up. Oh, there it is. Whoops, no. Let's see, there's no right or wrong way to do this part here. So just pick up a stitch right there. This is the very corner. So now to do this part, I'm just going to go into the space, grab a loop. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Okay, so I have twenty stitches for this part. And now I'm going to make sure that I do 18 on this side. So let's see. Here we're going to go into this first space between the bumps. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Perfect. Oops. Okay, so we have total. Let's see, we have two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty two, twenty four, twenty six, twenty eight, thirty, thirty two, thirty four, thirty six, thirty eight, forty, forty two, forty four, forty six, forty eight, fifty, fifty two, fifty four, fifty six stitches. Okay, now we're going to turn, and here we're going to knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. So this first one I'm going to slip, and the next one I'm going to purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, knit and purl. This is all I'm going to do, so continue like this all the way to the end of this row. I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished this row here. My last stitch was a purl, so now I'm going to turn. Now here we're going to do the same thing. The first stitch I'm going to slip. The next stitch is a purl. Next stitch is a knit. Next stitch is a purl. This is all I'm going to do, and I'm going to repeat this same row, I'd say for about two more times. I think I'm going to do this um, with four or five rows, I'm not sure, but 
continue like this, just repeating the same row, knit, purl, knit, purl, um, until we have a total of four rows. If it's more or less, I'll let you know here how many I'm going to do. So continue like this, and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the fifth row, so in total I did five rows. So now here, what we're going to do is we're going to cast off these stitches here to finish um, the baby bonnet. Okay, so to do this, what we're going to do is I'm going to slip this first stitch. This next stitch is a purl, so I'm going to purl the stitch. And this first stitch, I'm going to bring it over the second stitch, like this. So we just cast off the first stitch. Now, the next stitch is a knit, so we're going to knit. Then we're going to bring this stitch over the second stitch. Again, the next stitch is a purl, so we're going to purl, bring this first stitch over the second stitch. And this is how you're going to continue all the way to the end. So the next one is knit. So knit the stitch and bring the stitch over the stitch that you just knitted. And the next one is a purl. So purl the next stitch and bring the stitch over the stitch that you just purled. Continue like this all the way to the very end. I will meet you there to show you what we need to do next. Okay, so I'm here at the end. I finished casting off my stitches and this part here is done. So now what I'm going to do here on my um, baby bonnet is I'm going to make an eye cord. Now you can also just pick up four stitches here along the very edge and then just knit a strip so that way you can just tie it. Um, I'm going to try to do an, an eye cord. So to do an eye cord, you're going to need double pointed needles. I have this one here. This one is um, slightly smaller than what we've been using. This is 3.25. You can use any size. Now here, what I'm going to do is this is my last stitch. So I'm not going to uh, cut my yarn or anything, but I'm just going to go in and pick up um, four stitches. So there's two three and four. So I'm just going to pick up three more stitches. So I have four stitches here. Now slide your needle so that we can start here on this end. And here we're just going to now knit beginning here. Now this is going to be a little um, hard the first couple rows, but once you get the hang of it, it's going to be easier. So knit, knit, knit and knit okay now slide your needle again and do the same thing you're going to knit now the first stitch is a bit hard but once you do that it's fine and then the next knit knit and knit. Now make sure you pull on this so that your stitches fall in place. Now slide your needle again and do the same thing. And that's how you make an eye cord. The hardest stitch is always the first. So there's knit, knit, knit and if you notice I'm knitting through the back loop but it really doesn't matter I just think for me it's more comfortable through to do it through the back loop in this case okay now you pull slide your needle again and knit the first stitch knit the next let me try to knit it through the front leg and let's see if it's more, oh, it's about the same. I feel more comfortable doing it through the back loop. It doesn't matter. Um, do it whichever way you feel comfortable. So I'm going to continue like this. I'm not exactly sure how long I'm going to do this, but I'll let you know here how many rows I'm going to do. So continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row. 
Okay, I finished making my eye cord here. It's about 10 inches. I lost count how many rows I did, but it measures about 10 inches. Now here, what we're going to do is we're going to cast off these um, four stitches so that this part here is done. So we're going to knit the first stitch here, knit the next stitch. Now pass this stitch over the stitch that we just knitted. Now knit the next and pass the stitch over the stitch that we just knitted. Now knit the last stitch and pass the stitch over the second stitch. Now this part here is done. I'm just going to cut my yarn. And I'm just going to pass this loop or this yarn over this last loop and it's done. And my eye cord is done. Now here I'm just going to hide my end and now we're going to do the exact same thing here on this side. So to do that, I'm going to grab four stitches here. So grab a loop. We're going to, um, so here, grab this first stitch, insert your um, needle through the other stitch, grab a loop, insert your needle through the next stitch, grab another loop, and through this very corner stitch, grab your last stitch. And there it is. Okay, so we have four stitches, and here we're going to do the exact same thing we just did here. So slide your needle and knit the first stitch. Pull this yarn back here. And now knit the next three stitches. Now slide your needle and do the same thing. Knit the next four stitches. So here we're just going to do the exact same thing we did on the other side. We're going to do this until it measures about 10 inches. And this is how you start this other side. Okay, so continue like this until you have your 10 inches and then I'll come back and I'll show you what our finished baby bonnet looks like. Okay, I finished making the other side. This is what it looks like. So my baby bonnet is done. Now I have my little model here and I'm going to try it on. She usually wears a size three to six months. Now this one here, it's a bit big. I'd say that this size is for a baby between six and nine months. But as you can see, you can always just tie it around a baby that's smaller and it kind of sort of looks like this. I think it's super cute. Um, and this is what it looks like from the back. There it is. And there's the side. So there's an option for you. So you can make it in this um, using the same needles that I used and it's going to turn out a bit big, but it's not going to be any problem. Like I say, you just tie it um, and it, this is what it looks like here around the face. Now for a bigger baby, it may not look like this. It may look a little like this, which is also very cute. Now you can also make it for a baby between zero and three months. Just use 2.5 millimeter kneading needles. For a baby between three and six months, use four millimeter kneading needles. And for six to nine months, um, which is what we did here, we used four millimeter kneading needles. And for a baby between nine and 12 months, use 4.5 millimeter kneading needles. And between 12 and 18 months, use a five millimeter kneading needle with light number three baby yarn. Okay, so this has been today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.